Climate change here is disrupting a way of life that has allowed humans and animals to live side by side for centuries. Those are elephants over there. Fiesta Wurinwa is a key leader within the African Wildlife Foundation, one of the premier conservation groups on the continent. She tells me the droughts are frustrating decades of efforts to protect endangered species. So I look around and I see a lot of grassland and greenery, and you're telling me about the drought, but it seems like it's recovering pretty well. It's and only inside the park. Just drive 10 kilometers out of the park, and the story is completely different. And the reason why you only see it in the park is because it's a protected area. Mm. But outside the community area, it's, it's overgrazed. There's land degradation, and the springs have almost dried up. Now that leaves the elephant without any water access, mm -hmm. and it has to keep traveling, keep traveling, keep moving, looking for water. The animals yeah. just don't have. They, they don't, don't have. They don't they have don't any have. resource because the demand for 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 the space is becoming higher, both for wildlife as well as for human. Mm -hmm. So every time wildlife gets out of the park, then you have the human elephant conflict. We have already incidences of poaching, and poaching right. is becoming a very very big issue because a lot of people have lost their livestock to drought. And if they have lost their livestock to drought, then they don't have any other source of income. The demand for ivory is now very high, mm -hmm. and therefore that pushes them completely into illegal activities such as poaching. Mm -hmm. So there is a direct relationship between poaching and climate change. Could we see a day in Africa when all the elephants are gone? My answer will be a big yes. Africa at the moment has between 400,000 to 500,000 elephants left. But if we don't work extremely hard, then one day we are likely to find that most of the most well, of the elephants. It will be like thousands of years. From no, now. not thousands of years. Like so talk many of ten, hundreds of years. Not even a hundred years. Talk of ten to fifteen years to come. Come on. Yes, we are talking of about thirty to thirty-five thousand elephants a year. That's what we lose every year. We lose thirty to thirty-five thousand elephants a year. A year. So if this situation continues like that, we are not going to have elephants anymore in Africa. And it's not just the elephants. Once upon a time, Amboseli had more than 10,000 rhinos. Today, not a single rhino is left. What? Not a single rhino is left in Amboseli National Park. They're almost becoming extinct. Hippos? Hippos, the numbers are not looking very good because hippos are so reliant on water. And if we, have, if we continue having frequent droughts, the hippos will never survive. They will die over overheating. We're losing because hippos already? We are losing hippos already. Almost all the species. So the large mammals, the large wildlife that yep. we're so used to seeing. Yes, they will all be gone. They will all be gone. 